after advertising controversy, Twitch ads, hot tub, category. So perhaps add a category they could for mature rated humor, adult games, or a place I can finally go where I can say without getting cut off. Twitch now recognizes the hot tub meta in an official category. The company announced in a blog spot on May 21st. The said move comes after the streaming platform went under fire as a streamer under the meta lost her advertising earnings without notice. Twitch finally acknowledged and addressed the hot tub meta that started in March 2021. It is where when and women stream in bikinis while in hot tubs, or in some instances, an inflatable pool. The said category will include streams from pools, hot tubs, and beaches, Twitch said in its blog. Hmm. Unwilling Twitch moderators are to recognize the inevitable. Off the platform, advertisers want these harlots, yet attempting to separate them now from the rest of the population, like diseased lepers. This is something I've sort of mentioned for a while, but I've seen a lot of these big booba cosplayers and streamers support woke and cancel culture. And I knew this was coming and they were going to get get. Chris Rock said it best when he said cancel culture is making everything safe, sanitized, and boring to watch. And taking no chances, the advertisers will be, as even Twitch mods and simps ready for battle. Begun, the Twitch Wars has. You know, as a guy, I have zero problems with hot tub streams and cute girls. I really think they should just create an 18 plus area on Twitch where anything goes and, you know, tell advertisers, hey, if you want to reach a mature audience, go here. However, certain female Twitch streamers like Amarath have gotten exactly what they deserve. She's enjoyed years of lopsided favoritism while others got perma banned for way less. No one deserves to be harassed for the content they choose to stream, how they look, or who they are, Twitch wrote in her blog. We will take action against anyone who perpetuates this kind of toxicity on our service. According to The Verge, hot tub streamers often get harassed by sexist men for the envy of women's success. And as Twitch pulls out this kind of stream from the Just Chatting section and creates a dedicated category, it now validates that it is, in fact, allowed on the platform. Twitch added that being found to be sexy by others is not against our rules. And continue Twitch does, in their predicament, unable to recognize the double standards they continue to perpetuate. Yeah, exactly. Twitch has bent an insane amount of rules for all these times for people like Alinity. Uh, yeah, you remember Alinity getting a one-day ban for flashing her audience with her pepperoni-sized nips while some guys took their shirts off or girls that were fully clothed but curvy got hit with perma bans? In an even playing field. Enjoy so much popularity, these harlots would. Except, constantly ousted they would get by far more interesting alternatives. And out of the way, they would have been by now. On May 19th, the top hot tub meta streamer on Twitch, Amarath, publicly called out for Twitch for indefinitely suspending her advertising revenue without notice. Hence, in the same blog post, Twitch clarified that the advertisers decided to pull out of their ads from Amarath. It turns out that the brands did not prefer their ads to be shown on their content. However, Amarath said that her concern was about the lack of communication. Furthermore, she narrates that in a blink of an eye, and then her, her earnings were gone. And Twitch, in response, admitted that they failed to notify creators under said meta. In addition, the company said that they are already working with the affected creator and vowed to restore the ads. The new category also addresses the concerns of advertisers, Twitch said in the same blog. They may now choose which specific selections their ads will be seen. Consequently, the update now allows them to opt out from the hot tub meta. Much privilege it takes to have Twitch literally go to bat for you and force advertisers to insert ads back onto your content after the advertisers themselves pulled from your videos. It's going to be cute to try to watch Twitch convince these advertisers that it's okay to put ads on what's basically softcore prawn. Now, this really wouldn't have been an issue back in 2010, but you got society now all hopping around body positivity and, you know, sanitized and super safe uh, content and getting all offended by J. J. Scott Campbell's drawings. 
I suppose, result this will in further criticism and crimes of unfairness, creating thus more sexist men. That's the game they like to play. Funny enough, this only seems to go in favor of cute girls. So it must really suck to be a gay or a bi male on Twitch. Some turbo bigots, those Twitch mods certainly are. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.